Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, BEC fully confined uh, in this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this angle BEC is uh, 45 degrees and moreover uh, the area of this uh, right triangle uh, CDE has been given to us as uh, one centimeter square and the side length uh, CD is uh, two centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, BEC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDE and we know this is our 90 degrees uh, angle since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD and now we can see we have been given the area of this uh, triangle as one centimeter square so therefore let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and we can see the base uh, of this right triangle is uh, this side B C D and the height uh, of this triangle uh, is this uh, side D E and the area is 1 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this triangle is 1 is going to be equal to 1 divided by 2 times uh, base is uh, 2 times our height uh, is uh, this uh, segment uh, DE and here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancels each other out so therefore our this uh, DE segment length uh, turns out to be equal to 1 centimeter so therefore we can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, DE length turns out to be 1 and now let's focus once again on this right triangle CDE and I'm going to label uh, this uh, side uh, CE length uh, as uh, X and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, X whereas our two other legs are 1 and 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 1 square plus uh, 2 square is going to be equal to x square let's simplify that is going to give us 1 plus 4 is going to be equal to x square in other words uh, x square value is going to be simply 5 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we could see that this square and square root undo each other so therefore our x value turns out to be positive square root of 5 so thus our x value turns out to be square root of 5 so therefore this side c e length turns out to be square root of 5 and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this yellow shaded uh, triangle so therefore I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, BF uh, on this uh, base uh, CE and now we know that the base of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle is uh, square root of 5 so therefore if we could somehow find the value of this uh, height uh, BF then we could easily calculate the area of this yellow shaded uh, triangle BEC and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume this angle is our angle uh, alpha since this is our 90 degrees angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and we know this angle is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle is going to be our angle alpha and now we know that this angle is our 90 degrees angle 
So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. So therefore, we could see that these two right triangles, the, the right triangle CDE and the other uh, right triangle BFC are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And here's our uh, triangle uh, CDE. And this is uh, our triangle uh, BFC. And since uh, these two right triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of the side lengths uh, CF and BF is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, the side lengths ED and CD. And now we can see our this uh, ED segment uh, length uh, is uh, one centimeter. So I'm going to substitute that value one over here. And our side uh, CD length uh, is two centimeter. So I'm going to replace that one with two over here. So therefore, this ratio CF and BF is going to be equal to one divided by two. And since uh, these two ratios are uh, equal, so therefore uh, I could say that uh, our this uh, CF length is going to be one times uh, some constant uh, K. And likewise, uh, this uh, BF is going to be two times some constant K as well. So I'm going to write down uh, BF equals to two times some constant uh, K. And now our task is to calculate the value of this constant uh, k. So therefore we could see that this uh, CF segment length uh, is going to be one time some constant k. And this uh, BF length uh, is going to be two times some constant k. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle BFE. We know this is our 45 degrees angle and this is our uh, 90 degrees angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be our uh, 45 degrees angle as well. Since the sum of these uh, three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. And since uh, this angle is 45 degrees, uh, this angle is 45 degrees as well. So therefore uh, this is an isosceles triangle. In other words, uh, this segment uh, length uh, EF must be equal to this uh, side length uh, BF. And since uh, these two side lengths uh, are equal and this uh, BF side length uh, is two times K. So therefore uh, this uh, side EF length uh, has got to be two times uh, K as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side uh, CE length is going to be equal to this uh, length 2K and this uh, length 1K. 2K plus 1K is going to give us uh, 3K. So therefore our CE length is going to be 3 times some constant uh, K. And furthermore uh, this uh, CE length uh, is uh, square root of 5 as you can see over here. And if we compare these uh, two equations, we can write uh, 3 times uh, k is going to be equal to square root of 5. Let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate k. So this 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore our constant uh, k value turns out to be square root of 5 divided by 3. And since our uh, k value turns out to be square root of 5 divided by 3. So therefore uh, this uh, height uh, 2 times k value is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 5 divided by 3. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. It is equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is uh, square root of 5. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle is 2 times square root of 5 divided by 3. So therefore, uh, the yellow shaded triangle area is going to be a half times uh, 
the base uh, and the height uh, is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 divided by 3 times uh, square root of uh, 5. And now we could see that this 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out. And this uh, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give us simply 5. So therefore this uh, yellow shaded triangle area is going to be simply 5 divided by 3 centimeter square. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 5 divided by 3 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.